Let's show you the highlights of 250 Supercross from Seattle. Opening ceremonies was awesome, and the crowd came to see the chef, Levi Kitchen, Pacific Northwest Zone. They were cheering him. He dominated his heat race. They were cheering that, yeah. and he gave him something more to cheer about in the main. Yeah, that ain't the only thing he dominated. He dominated this main event, yeah. and uh, we talked about it during the race. We each of that. I, I felt like he, he had some insurance here tonight. When I was watching him, he didn't look like he was on that edge and struggling. Not that the other riders were struggling, but they looked like they didn't have any more to give, or I felt like I felt like Levi was well within his comfort zone. Obviously, it was difficult for him. We talked about that, but still, uh, just an incredible ride. RJ Hampshire looking to make a move on the rookie, Juju Boomer. Hampshire on the white, Rockstar Husqvarna going to make the pass here. So the title fighters against yeah. Kitchen are Hampshire and Jordan Smith. They were doing their best to keep him in sight. I like this ride that uh, RJ did. Uh, that was a great salvage ride uh, on his behalf. Uh, not having it tonight, not having the speed, but still maximizing the effort and picking up points. He's only eight points out of the lead. So that was Smith making the move up to third, but then problems. Yeah, I hated to see that. So uh, this is a tricky section, and it just looks like he got a little cross rutted and it shoots him to the right-hand side. He comes up short in the in the interim of it, and as that happened, this is crash too. This is a lap later. Just when you think it couldn't get any worse, there's gasoline on the fire. No, just when you thought it couldn't get any worse than that, yeah, it actually is going to. If it does, we get going here. This is nuts. Yeah, it's crazy. Just, but he never looked. You know, when you think about it, he never looked yeah. back on the track when he got back on there. None of those problems for Kitchen, who wins by 21 seconds. That is the largest margin of victory in any race this year, 250 or 450. I like what you said, home cooking here. Oh, what's in the crowd? Chef, home cooking. I love it. Cooking with some bacon grease. Incredible ride, and I think he's the favorite for the championship after what I saw tonight. Coming out of Washougal, Washington, about 100 miles from here, taking the win. Joe Shimoda had a crash. He somehow came back for third. And you mentioned Hampshire with a good salvage job. He admitted, I didn't have anything for Kitchen tonight. Second place, he'll take the points. Yeah, notables, Carson Mumford, great ride for yep. him. Julian Boomer, uh, awesome ride for the rookie. I think he learned a lot, especially early on. Now he'll be able to go and build on that. Great to see Michael Moseman back as well. I know, sixth place. And Nate Thrasher was making a bid for a podium, but he dropped back to ninth. So he show you the second half of the field here. Robbie Wageman in 12th. Max Sanford and Dylan Walsh, some teammates in the main, but they ended up rounding out the field. Uh, Hampshire did minimize the damage for as dominant of a win it was for yeah. Kitchen. It's still close in the stand. Yeah, it is. It was a great salvage ride. It really was. And sometimes, they, yeah, yeah, sometimes you have to put in those rides and just surrender. It's going to happen, and it may pay forward. It may pay, it may pull forward for him down the line. Let's send it down to Will Christian. Thank you, Jason. And what an incredible night for Pro Circuit Kawasaki's Levi Kitchen. We saw and heard all the support that he had here in the stadium. Honestly, at some points, it was deafening as he went past. Clearly, a group of local friends and family that were up there. I got to speak to his dad afterwards, and there was a certain amount of disbelief you could see in his face. They just knew that this was the point whereby now the championship was on the line. Now they were going to be looking at potentially their son winning his first Supercross championship. So an incredible night for them too. But Levi himself, I think he maybe didn't quite believe the way in which he'd done it because when he was up on the podium, JT had interviewed him and we told him that he had that 21 second lead. And he was like, whoa, I did. So that in itself, just I think a big night for him confidence wise and just incredible celebration for him and the family and all the local fans there to see what he'd done. Very special. Hi folks, Lee Diffie from NBC Sports here. If you truly enjoyed what you just watched, you can get more news, interviews, and highlights by subscribing to the Motorsports on NBC YouTube page. You can get it all, so go for it.